More pets are living longer thanks to advancements in veterinary medicine and, of course, owner care. And senior pets are becoming uh, certainly more common. So our next guest is here to talk about the specifics when caring for our senior pets. We have Dawn Hickey. She's a veterinary technician. Joining us now with a special little lady, Susan. Susie. 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 Mm -hmm. We don't have to be so formal. Babe. Sorry, <laughs> Susan. Susie. We'll, we'll go by that. And yeah. let's talk about her. How old is, is Susie? Susie's 14 and a half years old. Okay. Um, and she has, she's dealing with some the typical issues that older dogs get. She's got a little bit of a neurologic uh, disease in her hind limbs and a little bit of maybe laryngeal paralysis that we hasn't been diagnosed yet or anything, but you see this a lot, especially in labs, and she's a lab. Um, but she's still very, very active uh, and still loves to play. Well, and she looks she's so much more, treats. she does, she likes yes. the treats. She yes. looks so much more comfortable. She was having a hard time gripping on the hardwood. Mm -hmm. um, and there's all kinds of things to help these days. Obviously, she's wearing a harness, but yes. you even have toe grippers. Yes, these things on her paws, they're little pieces of rubber that we just slide over the top of their toes. And the bottom of it actually touches the floor when they walk. So when they put the pressure of their weight on them, it touches the floor and helps keep their feet from slipping out That's from under brilliant. them. That's brilliant. Yeah. Yes. It's where, been, now, where can people get those? There, you can get them online. They're called Dr. Busby's Toe Grips. We have them at UT in our yeah. department, but you can also just order them online. Um, they're very helpful for geriatric pets. And you have an event tonight. Let's talk about that mm -hmm. um, and how people can take part in that. Yes, it's tonight um, at the University of Tennessee in one of our lecture rooms upstairs. Uh, we're going to talk about maximizing life for your geriatric pets. No, mm -hmm. Very good. And, and uh, obviously getting with your own vet is important as your dog gets older, right? Sure. Oh, yes. We recommend uh, at least twice a year to have yearly blood work and exams for senior dogs, especially osteoarthritis is one of the most yeah. uh, common diseases that they face yeah. and they're usually on some kind of a pain medication and we need to check and make sure that their liver and their kidneys are functioning correctly sure. so they need blood work done, done twice a year. All, All right. right so that's gonna be over at the vet school. Mm -hmm. All right, any room in particular it's going to be in? Um, it's going to be in the tickle room upstairs okay. of the new addition part, <laughs> um, and the people at the front desk are aware it's happening, and they'll know it. there'll be somebody okay, in the it. lobby and somebody in the parking lot to direct you where to go. Well, Don, thanks so much for coming on, and great mm -hmm. to see Susie. She's a sweetheart. Oh, Susie. She is. Susie. 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 Susie likes the treats. Susie. <laughs> Give me some more treats. All right.